Well, how's everybody doing this wonderful day? I hope everybody is doing just fine. Sorry that I got to get this message out to you a little late today, but I had quite a few other things I had to do. But I'm still going to bring this word to you. I'm still going to bring this word to you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will and hope you will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> be glad in it because this is the day that God has made for us. First of all, I would like to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day today. May God continue to bless you and you continue to bless your children. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Oh, boy, bless that wonderful name. Bless that wonderful name. I have a message for you today that I want to bring you. I hope this message touch you. Open up your eyes. It helps you not to do this. See, we as Christians are responsible for how we act. But by the grace of God, we are empowered to do the righteous. To do the right thing instead of the wrong thing. So we are blessed. See, that you can say that today. You can walk around and tell yourself and say, I am blessed. Because Jesus' grace, because God's grace is working in my life. God's grace is empowering me. God's grace is giving me the ability to do the things that he want me to do. You understand? But today I'm going to talk about something God don't want you to do. He don't want us to do this. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. God don't want us to judge others. Because when you are judging others, you are condemning others. But there's a verse that says in there, even though you are condemning them, guess what? You are actually condemning yourself too. Bless your wonderful name, Jesus. So if you go around condemning somebody, remember, you're going around condemning yourself as well. Bless that wonderful name. If you don't want to condemn yourself, don't go around condemning nobody else. So otherwise, don't go around judging others. Don't go around judging others. That's why the, the title of the message is they don't judge others. Coming from a Christian perspective. Understand that. We're coming from a Christian perspective. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You got the victory. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You got the victory. Do you know that now? So if you got the victory in Jesus, then you know you don't have to judge others. Because victory is yours. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. <laughs> so you got to understand that two songs that work together. But in the name of Jesus, you got the victory. But don't judge others. The words of God clearly tell us not to judge others. I got some verses that I'm going to read to you today. That I'm going to bring to you clearly the word of God that tells you not to judge others. That tells you not to condemn others. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. Now, are you a child of God? Are you a believer and follower of Jesus Christ? Well, if that's the case, that means we don't go around judging others. If that's the case, that means you don't go around judging others. But if you are... Judging others, you know now it's time to stop judging others. And you probably can't do it by yourself. Because you probably try to do it by yourself. But I want you to know, by the grace of God, you can. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you can. By the faith that you have in the power of the Spirit to stop you from judging others, you can. But you got to believe it so you can receive it so that you can live it out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You got to understand that the word of God clearly tells us not to judge others. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you still going to go around and judge others? Are you still going to go around and condemn others? Or are you going to cut it short and stop in the name of Jesus and be obedient to God's will and live in the righteousness of Christ? It's your choice. By your faith that you put in Jesus Christ. Knowing that you are 
a new creation in Christ Jesus. Knowing that old things have passed away. All things has become new. I am not like I used to be. Matter of fact, I am not who I used to be. I am a new person in Christ Jesus. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. So, judge, judging others can cause conflicts. When you go around and you're judging others, you can look for a conflict. It's coming. It's just, it's just about guarantee. It can cause separation. It can make people quit being friends with one another. It can make people quit hanging out with one another. See, 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 when you condemning somebody and you condemning one another, so you get conflicts. And where there's conflicts, they bring separation. So if there becomes separation, there's no growth in the name of Jesus. And then not only that, see, you got to understand how dangerous this is. Going around judging others or going around condemning one another. You got to know how dangerous this is. It can lead to arguments. It can lead to hatred. You understand? You got to know how dangerous this is. That's why God don't want us going around condemning one another. Plus, it's not God's will for us. But he also know how destructive that it can be in a relationship. But when you condemn others, you dis when you condemn others, you you disrespect others. When you go around condemning others or judging others, whichever word you want to use, I want you to know that you're going around disrespecting them. You're going around disrespecting them. You don't want to be disrespected, so why are you going to disrespect them? You don't want nobody condemning you, so why are you going to condemn them? Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. You got to hear this in order for it to work in your life. Understand the problem that it's caused. Uh, because when you, uh, I mean, you can get in conversations, you understand, and uh, you can be judging others, you understand, and uh, you can be doing that in a gossipy hole. Oh, bless that wonderful name. Because usually where there's gospel, usually where there's gospel, there's backbiting. And that's talking bad about somebody behind their back. Gossiping about somebody behind their back. Condemning them behind their back. And that needs to stop. In the name of Jesus. You understand. And when you're going around judging others, condemning others, you understand. You got to look for a possible physical confrontation. When I say physical confrontation, I'm talking about a fist fight. I'm talking about a wrestling match. It might even be a knife fight. It might even be a gun fight. It no telling what type of physical fight that it can become. But whatever it is, it brings danger. It's no good. It's no good. Do you hear me? It's no good. And God is about goodness. So God said, quit judging one another. Quit condemning one another so you can live peaceful with one another. So you can have peace with one another. Do you hear what God is trying to tell you? Do you hear it? And then most of all, discerning God and Jesus your Savior. When you go around judging others, condemning others, you are disrespecting God and Jesus your Savior. And you say you want to live a life honoring God. You want to live a life giving God all praise. You want to live a life worshiping God, right? So in order to do that, let's keep it real. In order to do that, you can't go around judging others. You can't go around condemning others. I know your flesh say I can, but your heart of God say you can't. Because if you really got the Holy Spirit and the heart of God working in your life, you recognize how wrong this is to condemn another person. You recognize how wrong it is to judge another person. See, 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 it's a heart issue. But you got to have the heart of God in you. And the only way you're going to have the heart of God in you, you got to have the Holy Spirit in you. You got to have God's words activating itself in your life. You understand? And then you will understand that you cannot go around judging others. And you will work on not judging others. And you know by the grace of God, the Spirit of God, you're going to stop judging others because God's going to work it out for you. And you know this. See, do you trust God to work it out for you? Do you believe you already got the victory? Like I said in the song, victory is yours. Victory is yours. 
you already got the victory. Now you got to live in that victory that you already got. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. You got to live in that victory that you already got. Do you hear, man? Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. See, when you are judging others, you are literally condemning them. Especially when you're doing a negative judging. And most of the time, that's what we do. So this, this judging I'm talking about is called condemnation judging. It's called judging to condemn. <laughs> and he's saying that, uh, you know what, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't walk around condemning people. You shouldn't run, run around condemning people. I'm going to ask you a question, then you think about it. Do you want somebody condemning you? Do you want somebody condemning you? If you don't want nobody condemning you, why are you going around condemning somebody else? For the word of God said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I'm going to read that verse to you later on. Hopefully I get to it. But you understand what I'm saying? So do unto others as you want them to do unto you. So if you're going around condemning somebody, that means it's all right for somebody to go around condemning you, right? I bet you said no. It ain't right. But it ain't right for you to go around condemning nobody. If you don't want nobody going around condemning you. So what? it's kind of like what goes around come around. But when it comes back and slap you in the face, it don't feel so good. It hurts. You understand? So don't go around judging others. Don't go around judging others. God didn't save us to condemn one another. God saved us to help one another. You understand that? God saved us to help one another. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. Now, how many of you are helping one another and not condemning one another? <laughs> Think about it, brothers and sisters in the Lord. How many of you are helping one another instead of condemning one another? And if you're condemning one another, it's time for you to grow up. And start condemning one another and start helping one another in the name of Jesus. Jesus, if anyone that have this problem, help them, Lord Jesus, to continue to grow and get out of it. Like you helping me grow and get out of it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. God didn't save us to condemn one another. Don't condemn one another. Don't condemn one another. That's what I say. Don't condemn one another. Now, can I go through a few Bible verses with you? Can I go through a few Bible verses with you? Let's go first to Matthew 7, 1 through 5. Matthew 7, 1 through 5. The first verse said, Judge not that you be not judged. He said, judge not that you be not judged. So he said, judge not. So he said, if you don't judge, you ain't got to worry about being judged. So he said, if you don't condemn, you ain't got to worry about being condemned. So he said, judge not that you be not judged. So don't go around judging nobody. So you don't have to worry about being judged. Then he goes on to say, for with what judgment ye judge, so whatever judgment you judge or use, you shall be judged, you shall be judged with what measures you meet. Shall be measured to you again. So what however you judge somebody, you're gonna be judged that same exact way. You judge somebody this way, you're gonna be judged that same way. What 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 whatever measure that you meet 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 or came up with, that's the same measure gonna come up with you. So you understand. So judging is not that easy. So it says, for with what judgment ye judge, so how you judge somebody, you should be judged. However you judge somebody, you're going to be judged the same way. You understand? And, and with what measures you meet, and whatever measures you meet, or what standards you came up with, should be measured to you again. The same standards should be on you again in the name of Jesus. So, then, so otherwise, he said, don't go around judging people. Because you're going to be judged the same way. He gave us the one. And why, and why beholdest thou the moat 
that is in thy brother's eyes, but consider not the being that is in thy own eyes. Then he said, and why observe the wrong that, that, that your brother do, but don't observe the wrongs that you do? But don't observe the wrongs that you do. See, a lot of us, we go around judging others and condemning others, and we do the same exact thing. And we got the same wrong in us. You understand? He's doing the same wrong in us. But that, but he, but he said, Oh, how will thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the moat out thy eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eyes. So he's saying, how can I tell you, how can I try to straighten you out and can't even straighten myself out? How can I try to tell you to get right and I'm still messed up? He said, that ain't the way it worked. He said, that ain't the way it worked. So he goes on to verse 5, he said, thou hypocrite. <laughs> he said, thou hypocrite. First cast out the bean out thy own eyes and then shall thou see clearly to cast out the moat out thy brother's eyes. So otherwise, he said, go get yourself right. Oh, bless that name, Jesus. You need to hear this. So otherwise, he said, go get yourself right before you try to get somebody else right. Because so many people is trying to get somebody else right, and they still messed up. And they're not even trying to get themselves right. But they're going to condemn that brother anyway when they do the same thing. You old hypocrite. So he said, look at here, you old hypocrite. You go get right first. He said, you go get right first. Then after you get right, you got the right to help somebody else get right. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. So you know what? I got saved. I got blessed. And now that I got saved and I got blessed, now I try to give it to somebody else. And now I try to give it to somebody else. Because I got right now. Now I can tell them how wrong that is. Because of my personal experience since I'm right now. Then I can tell them how they can get out of it and get on the right track. Because I'm blessed now by Jesus. Do you understand? So before I can help someone understand this. Before I can help someone get out of something bad. And I'm in the same spot. First, I got to get out that bad spot and get into the good spot. And then I can go help him get out that bad spot and get in the good spot. Or go help her get out that bad spot and get in the good spot. Bless her wonderful name, Jesus. Do you hear me? Just started walking around condemning them. You know, judging them. Making, judging them. And I do the same thing, trying to make myself feel better. Because of that selfish pride that I got inside of me, I, I got to look above you. So therefore, I got to condemn you in order for me to feel good. But that's not the way it is. That's a lie. So get yourself right so that you can get your brother right. Get yourself right so you can get your brother right. Don't go around condemning them. When you messed up already too. First get right. And then help them. And I'm not saying then. First get right. And when you get right. I'm not saying go condemn them either. I'm saying when you get right. Go help them to get right. Here, here exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying because you got right. Don't give you the right to still go condemn them. But this is a chance that you can help them. Hear me out. But this is a chance that you can help them get right. That is the will of God for us to help others get right, to help them get right in Jesus so that they have a new life through Jesus. Do you understand? That's why we preach the good news. That's why we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of Jesus Christ, so we can help them get right. But first, you got to get right in the name of Jesus. Instead of going around judging people and condemning people, get yourself right in the name of Jesus. Go with me to Romans, uh, Romans 2, verses 1 through 4. Romans 2, verses 1 through 4. 
Therefore, if thou art inexcusable, old man, whosoever thou art that judges, y'all have no reason to judge. For wherein thou judges another, thou condemns thyself. For thou that judges does the same thing. Now hear this out right here. Therefore, if thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, you don't have no reason to be judging nobody, point blank. There is, that's what it's all saying right there. You don't have no reason judging nobody, point blank. Whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemns thyself. So he said, now, if you go around judging others if you're, you're, or, or condemning others, guess what? The only person you're condemning is yourself. That's the word of God just said. If you go around judging others and you do the same, oh, let, let, matter of fact, let me finish the verse off. For thou that judges does the same thing. And you do the same thing, you condemning yourself. See, God is working with us to grow. God didn't send us here to judge. God sent us here to lead, to bring people to Christ. You understand? Not to judge them. Because God is helping us stay right. Not to judge them. But he said, if you do go around judging people, if you do go around condemning people, we said, when you get done condemning them, when you get done condemning them, I want you to know that you are condemning yourself. He said, I want you to know that you are condemning yourself. Can you believe that? So when you go around thinking about trying to put somebody down by condemning them, I want you to know the only person you're putting down is yourself. Is yourself. The only person you're condemning is yourself. Do you want to live in condemnation? Well, quit going around condemning people, believers and unbelievers alike. Quit going around condemning people. And young believers need to come get with Christ. But you need to go quit condemning people. And, I, and, I, and I'm going to tell you, it can be done. It can be done. But it can't be done by self-will. It can only be done by the grace of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit that now dwells in you, by the grace of God. It's his mercy and his kindness that will empower you so that you don't go around condemning people. You see, so you don't have to condemn yourself. So when you do it to them, understand you're only doing it to yourself. Yeah, you need to understand that you're only doing it to yourself. For thou that judges does the same thing. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth. See, we know. This is what we know. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth. God's judgment is truth. God's judgment is real. God's judgment is right. Against them which commit such things. Against them which commit such things. So if you go around doing what's wrong, you got a judgment coming from God. So let God do the judging, not you. That you just be a minister of God, not to judge. And, and thinkest thou this, old man, that judges them which do such thing, and does the same, and does the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God. He said, You going around condemning them that do wrong, and you do wrong. And you do wrong. Let me let me let me finish this verse. I want, and you do wrong. Because and you do and you do wrong too that you should escape the judgment of God. We're here to tell you, you are not going to escape the judgment of God. You do wrong, they do wrong, you're not going to escape the judgment of God. It's God's grace that save us. It's God's grace that empower us. It's God's, it's God's grace that makes sin forgiven for us. It's only by the grace of God that we are who we are in Jesus Christ. Here we are in Christ Jesus. So you cannot escape the judgment of God by condemning somebody else. So let me read that again to you one more time. And think about this, O man, that judges them which do such thing, and does the same that thou shalt escape the judgment of God. So if you go around condemning them that do wrong, and you do wrong, and you think you're going to escape the judgment of God, we only blessed to get away from that judgment through Jesus Christ.
through Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus Christ today, today is a good day to get to know him and bring him into your life so you don't have to face God's judgment. Salvation is vital. Salvation is important. <laughs> and you must start believing in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that God had raised him from the dead, and y'all shall be saved. And then after that, you start living in righteousness. Oh, bullshit, I got tired. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, that power of the Holy Spirit. So, okay, we know that we cannot escape the president of God just because we condemn somebody else. Or despise thou the rich, the riches of the goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads to repentance. The goodness of God will lead you to repentance because God is so good to you. And when you recognize the goodness of God, it will lead you to repentance. <laughs> that means you will come to God. That means you will stop doing the evil that you used to do and start doing the righteousness. That means you will turn your life over to Jesus Christ. Huh? That means you will put your faith in Jesus Christ. Huh? You will put your faith in God huh? or your Heavenly Father. <laughs> you will put your faith in the Holy Spirit. You will put your faith in the Word of God. And what you put your faith in, you will start acting in and start living in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And then you can say, I am holy like God is holy because God is keeping me holy. Bless their wonderful name, Jesus. You don't keep yourself holy. You don't keep yourself away from the judgment. God do. God do. Do his son, Jesus Christ. Do his son, Jesus Christ. But when you realize the goodness of God, when you see the goodness of God and you really see it, you want to turn away from what you used to do. That's where the repentance come in, and you turn to God. And then you start doing what God wants you to do. <laughs> and you start living in salvation. And you start living in righteousness. And you start living in hope. And you start living in confidence. Bless their wonderful name, Jesus. Your confidence will be placed in God's plan for your life through his son, Jesus Christ. I got to tell you about the gospel of Christ. Because none of this can happen unless you believe in the gospel of Christ. You see, without the gospel of Christ, this will not happen. See, for the gospel of Christ to them that believe is salvation. It's salvation. It's salvation. Understand that. Now go with me to uh, Romans 14, 13. Romans 14, 13. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. Let this message come out right. Romans 14, 13. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore. He said, let us quit judging one another. When you go up in here, it's talking about fools, holidays, holy days, or whatever they would be. And they was condemning them for this and each other, condemning one another. But he said, let's stop that. But, he, but, he's, but he's saying, let's stop there. Let, when you get down there, he said, let us therefore judge one another no more. So he said, let's don't judge one another no more. Let's not go around condemning one another no more. But judge this rather, but decide on this, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother way. But don't put a stumbling block in your brother's way. Because it's, you know, there's different things that do that. Like don't eat pork or, or whatever. There's some of the older laws, but one of them is mainly don't eat pork. You got to pray a certain way when you face it. All these still different things that some people put into there that you got to not let them be a stumbling block to them believe. But I'm here to tell you today. I'm here to let you know. Salvation is in Jesus Christ. Your deliverance is in Jesus Christ. Your holy life is in Jesus Christ. And when you build it on Jesus Christ, you will find out them laws don't matter because Christ's going to lead you. The Holy Spirit is going to guide you. And you're going to be set free because you're going to be circumcised in your heart. 
not the circumcision of your skin. <laughs> you understand me? This is going to be a deep cleaning. It's going to be a heart cleaning, not the cleaning of the foreskin. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You're going to be purified in Jesus Christ. That's what I got to tell you. Anything else, anything else, anything else, anything else. Oh, let me tell you. It's only one way you can be saved. And that's in Jesus Christ. And that's in Jesus Christ. Now go with me to Matthew 7, 12. Matthew 7, 12. Therefore, of all things whatsoever ye would that man should do to you, do you even so to them. For this is the law and the prophet. So otherwise, he said, whatever you want somebody to do to you, you make sure you do it to them. If you want somebody to love you, make sure you're loving them. If you want somebody to hate you, all you got to do is hate them. You understand? You want somebody to care for you, then all you got to do is care for them. You want somebody to be good to you, then you got to be good to them. You want somebody to condemn you, all you got to do is condemn them. So he said, look here, if you don't want to be condemned, don't go around condemning nobody else. <laughs> it's just that simple. Do unto others as you would like others to do unto you. Is that so hard? Is that so hard? Even when others don't do you right, you still got to do others right. But one thing I learned in life, when you do others right, others will start doing you right. And sometimes others won't do you right, but if you still continue to do others right, you'll find out that others going to end up doing you right. Bless that wonderful name, Jesus. So you do unto others as you would like others to do unto you. If you don't want to be, if you don't want to, nobody condemning you, don't go around condemning nobody else. If you don't want nobody judging you, don't go around judging nobody else. I hope this message touch you. I hope this message bless you in the name of Jesus. I, I, I hope it was a, a uplifting to you an inspiration to you to let you know I'm not going to condemn nobody anymore. I'm not going to judge nobody anymore. I'm going to leave all that up to God, but I'm going to show them love. I'm going to express my love to them. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not brag. Love is not proud, rude, self-seeking, or easy anger. Love keeps no record alone. wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice in the truth. Love, love always protect, trust, hope, and persevere. And one thing you need to love, love don't think no evil. You understand? So let's go on loving one another. Hey, let's love one another. Let's don't condemn one another. That was the charity from NIB. The love from NIB. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Check out the King James Version too. But that's the way we got to do it now. See, 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 see. When you're walking in love, you're not walking in condemnation. See, uh, sometimes they used to preach condemnation and they call themselves preaching love. But today I'm here to tell you, I'm going to preach about the love of Christ. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the love of Christ. I'm going to tell you about salvation so you can get out of condemnation. I'm not going to judge you and condemn you when I came to save you and bring you into the house of Christ uh, so that you can be Part of the family of God. Uh, you understand where I'm coming from now? Just for you. Because I'm a minister of Jesus Christ. That's who I am. A minister of Jesus Christ. Now make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. If you don't know him today. And if you have a problem believing in him, continue to tune in and listen to what I say about Jesus, because it ain't about me. It's about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and God's Word. You understand? I want you to know I'm on Twitter, and I'm on YouTube. My channel on YouTube is Thomas Patterson. Feel free to come by and visit. Take time out to share this video 
with your friends. Because if you want to save somebody, this is the opportunity through the word of God that he has given me to share with you that you can share with somebody else to benefit them too. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. God will. I'll be with you next week again to give you another message in the name of Jesus.